Boy, really a nasty, gooey mess. Right from Grand Isle, Louisiana, to Dolphin Island, Alabama, it is oil, and it's not unexpected, right? Millions of gallons have spewed into the Gulf of Mexico since an oil rig exploded and sank more than a month ago. Wildlife, as you know, is in danger. So are a lot of livelihoods and the frustration growing against oil giant BP. Uh, Glenda Paré is on the phone with me right now. She is a commercial fisherwoman worried about the future. Glenda, it's good to talk to you. Are you there with me? Yes, I am. Glenda, good to talk to you. More than 23,000 workers, I understand, along the Gulf Coast have filed claims against BP. Those are the figures that I'm getting. You filed yesterday. If you would, describe the process and how you were treated by representatives from BP, if you met any. Well, I really have to say I have been treated very well. And they're doing everything they can to, you know, accommodate the fishermen at the present time. And they're trying to go about it as efficiently as efficiently as possible. But I have to say, as far as the cleanup process, yeah, I think they're really laxing in mm -hmm. um, doing everything they can possibly do. Since off of Grand Isle, we had uh, uh, groups of uh, oil sitting on the beaches, mm, and they had done nothing to put booms out to prevent that oil from entering into our precious estuary, yeah, which yeah. is the Barataria Basin. And uh, as of the last two days, the oil has inundated our inland waters, which will, uh, in the future, you know, deplete our uh, precious um, ecosystem. Yeah. You know, it's going to it's going to really affect our ecosystem and the lives of our um, communities sure. and surrounding communities. Hey, Glenda, how long is it going to take? Do you think uh, for you to get some money, a check from BP for what you're losing and what you've already lost? Well, they've been pretty prompt, prompt about that, and they're trying to do everything possible to um, um, help the fishermen immediate uh, help. Right. And they're talking about uh, help in the future. Right. Okay. So I know the waters where you make your living uh, are in real danger here. I'm just curious, are the waters where you make your living close to fishing right now? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. All right. Yes. So we're not just talking about you losing your livelihood here. Uh, people tell me that area where you live and where you work is, is just flat out beautiful. Are, are you losing a, a way of life here? Oh, absolutely. We're losing our way of life that my ancestors, you know, they have uh, uh, gone fishing and, you know, earned a living with crab and shrimp mm. and all of the uh, sea life. And the, the, the problem is it's going to ruin the whole ecosystem because marine life comes inland and they go out and it's a cycle. And this cycle has been broken yeah. and may not come back in years to come, and some are saying maybe 50, maybe 100 years. Right. And, you know, we have been through so many adverse uh, events here with Katrina. And, you know, we are uh, a very resilient people. Right. You know, we came back from Katrina, we built our homes, we built our businesses, and um, we've always bounced back. But I have, I, I really don't see a future. You don't see a future? It's all spilled. You, you don't see a future? No. Uh, I've got a couple of pictures. I, I, I want to show the pictures. Roger, let's, let's go with the family picture first. I think you also sent us a picture of your boat. Here's the, here, this, is a, this is a picture of your 50th anniversary celebration. This is terrific. So, yes, that's uh, my husband and I with mm -hmm. our two daughters and son. This was um, 50th anniversary party that yeah. our children um, Davis. And there's your husband, and I think we're, is that the, let me get a little closer here. Oh, there's your, there's your husband. All right. Yeah, he's holding up one of the fish that we caught in our beautiful waters, and it's on our boat. Okay, and we're going to take a look at the boat here in just a second. So let me ask you, and there it is, there's the, there's the boat. Hey, let me ask you what it is you say about this situation when you're sitting around the dinner table at night. Uh, what do you say to one another about what's going on right now? Well, you know, the, the thing is, we've had a wonderful life here. Uh, 
and not to say we didn't have our problems, you know, uh, uh, but as a whole, this is what our fishermen want to do. They want to fish these waters, um, enjoy what they're doing. I mean, we could have yeah. gone on to do something else, but we wanted to do this. My husband and I had two large boats. Well, we've sold those because the children left, and we downsized, and we wanted this smaller boat to go out and enjoy uh, catching shrimp and right. um, enjoying just the, the beautiful waters and the pelicans and the birds and catching our shrimp. It was a wonderful life. And this is uh, indicative of what the rest of the community is doing. Boy, you, this you is paint, what they want to do. Yeah, you paint a, an amazing picture of what it's like to do what you do uh, in the Gulf along the Louisiana coastline there. Hey, and, Glenda, and, and, did you want to say one more thing? Yes. Mm. What I'd like to say is, you know, I just hope the government and BP can at least, you know, compensate these wonderful people, hardworking people. You know, this is... This is a, 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 a livelihood that's going to be a thing of the past. Yeah. Well, Glenda... And, and, and it just breaks my heart. You know, we're older, but uh, the younger ones want, want to do this business, and it's not going to be there anymore. Well, I, and I, it's boy, just heartbreaking. I, I, I know it looks bad now. I hope that's not the case. I hope that this can somehow be turned around. I know the odds on that are pretty long. Hey, Glenda, uh, keep your head up, all right? All right. Thank all you right. so yeah, much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my pleasure. Good talking to you.